my baby made it on the school website y'all he is on the school website i want to post the picture to the um i almost to the doctors and um i'm looking at my hair i'm like yo my hair done poofed up already it's this humidity like humidity does not act right with my hair um i can't wait to get my braids back um because even though today is not like a really today's not a hot day at all you guys but it's like between damp and like warm you know what i'm saying so i feel like my hair done puffed up a little bit but it still look good it still got a good flow uh, but it definitely poofed up a little bit <laughs> so i'm definitely when i get home i will wrap my hair back up um so that it can uh, last a couple more days I have a um, hair appointment for saturday saturday morning so uh, i'm gonna be doing a saturday self-care bell is on so that you don't miss that video um, but we're almost to the doctors i'm listening to um pandora station i'm listening to pandora um alicia keys station i love her station because she has a mixture of nice um music like a mixture of like summer walker we got jasmine sullivan her of course my favorite song by alicia right now is um So if you want to go and listen to it, um, you can listen to it on uh, Pandora or Spotify. I love that. Um, I love that Pandora now. You can um, listen to the whole albums. Um, and that's super dope because like Apple be charging you to listen to music. Like, come on, it's music. So I've been bumping um, Pandora and it's really been giving me um, good energy, okay? Free, free, free. Who does not love free shit, okay? This is my song. All right, so we made it to the doctor's. I had to go get gas, y'all. Y'all know I hate to get gas, so I put like $10 in this tank because I can't stand standing outside pumping gas, y'all. Um, so I just sent out some quick um, some quick messages to my uh, mentorship groups. Um, I have HBA and BBH. If you're interested in joining one of my mentor, one of my mentor um, programs, you can check us out. All the information will be down below. Um, right now we have $50 mentorship and $97 mentorship um, and they both come with different things so make sure you check all the information out uh, make sure you check all the information out so yeah we're at the doctors it's about 807 I have to go pee y'all so I'm gonna go in early um, I think I have to wear a mask I hate that I have to wear a mask but I have to wear a mask I think they have one though that I can get um, I don't have an extra one in the car but um yeah we're gonna go into this office i need to go pee pee and i have to save the pee so i'm gonna go in there a little earlier so that i can pee y'all because i got to go i think my husband has a mask yep he has one so i'll use this when i go in <sighs> Ooh, i'm running out of water Hello? Hello, this is our final attempt to reach you to be qualified for assistance. 
that helps pay for your health insurance through marketplace. Robots. The government isn't. So of course I saved my pee because I have to pee so bad. So I saved it because <laughs> I got to pee in the cup. So like we do all the time, we put our name on it first. It's warmer out here. Okay, so you guys, <laughs> I love my doctor. I love him. He has such high energy, like me. Um, his wife. Um, he has a wife. Um, she's currently pregnant. Oh my God, I love Dr. Hunter. That's his name. Hold on one second. So yeah, he was super amazing. Um, he's so funny and. Um, he changed my due date <laughs> he was like i was looking at your um he said that he was looking at my paperwork and he was like something's just not adding up the baby measurements is not adding up what the other doctor gave to him wasn't adding up um and then he had got the last ultrasound he said that wasn't adding up and so he was like he put it in the system and he was like uh-uh we gotta change her due date <laughs> so my due date is now You ready to hear? My due date is now. I think I'm gonna call my husband. Baby sounds so good. God. It was really high, like the heartbeat was really high the first, like my last um, appointment, the, uh, the heartbeat was really high. But this appointment, the heartbeat was like, it was perfect. He said it was perfect, normal, sounded great. Um, the baby came up a little bit, so he was like, are you feeling movement? So I was like, just a little, and it makes sense. I haven't been really feeling the baby move a lot because I am not what I thought I was, you guys. OMG. So, let me call my husband. I'm so hungry. I'm going to stop at McDonald's. Yes, I said McDonald's. Judge your mother. Judge your mother. Oh, let me put this and this. Mm. Hey, babe. I'm not oh, listening to that no more. No. Uh -uh. Then if mama, mama fucking with your energy, say, look, mom, I'm, I'm really just trying to be in this space right now with this pregnancy. You may need to disconnect from mom. Hey guys. <clears throat> so, I'm home as you guys can see. My makeup is messed up because I've been crying. <sighs> so when I left the hospital or left my doctor's appointment, <sighs> um, like I got all the good news and stuff, but he, my doctor let me know that there could be a chance that I have to deliver my baby at 36 weeks. Or 37 weeks um, because of my uterus being thin and I had him double check that so he's waiting for the last um, the last paperwork or whatever it has to be faxed over so he can look at it and I had to sign for it 
So I guess we will find out. Um, he said he'll give me a call. But they will keep an eye on me. So I guess I'll have a couple of ultrasounds coming up just to keep an eye on my uterus. Because my uterus is thin due to having previous cesareans, C-sections. So that kind of had me in a funk. Because I've never delivered that early. Never. Always delivered right a week right before delivery day so that's that and then also i had to literally like cry it out on live i ended up going live if you guys didn't see that i went live um and the reason why is it's like i felt like i had no one to talk to um i feel so alone in this pregnancy i felt like i've been on this journey kind of like by myself uh, besides like my husband being there and my kids and stuff I just feel like this pregnancy hasn't been what I thought it like I like I, it hasn't been what I wanted it to be and I kind of know why because I really have been working and I haven't been doing the things that I set up to do and so speaking to a spiritual consultant um mentor leader friend um, I am going to work less. I know I come on here and I'm like, hey, you guys, today, you know, we got to hustle, hustle, hustle. And, you know, it's another hustle on day. I got to do this. I got to do that. Keep going. Don't give up. But sometimes you do have to stop. And when I say stop, I'm saying, like, stop everything. Um, and I was explaining to my spiritual friend <laughs> that um, it's hard for me to do that because I've been so used to hustling moving busting it down you know uh, getting things done no excuses right and i have an excuse do you see this i'm pregnant okay so welcome to the vlog a pregnant vlog with a pregnant mama who has three kids and two businesses and i'd be tired and i'd be overwhelmed and i just i can't show up like myself all the time um so I basically had a whole crying spill. I actually was on the phone with her for like a good 30, 40 minutes and she helped me so much. She sent me some some things that I'm going to be tapping into. Um I you know, I told her and I told myself that I'm taking a break from YouTube. I mean not YouTube, Instagram, social media in general just because I need to focus on my spiritual journey. I was on a spiritual journey before I started full time and running my business and I think I ran it so hard that I'm fucking now feeling like exhausted I feel burnt out um and then on top of that I'm pregnant and then on top of that I live in a really big city um and I feel like I don't have anybody like I have no close friends here I had one two three four five five people that i met that i was close friends with and they are no longer my friends not because of me though and i'm honestly telling you not because i broke up with them or said i didn't want to be their friend no more you know it's all because of something and they go on with their lives I, some of them i see some of them i don't but it's still sad it still breaks my heart. I still feel like people just don't care. Like people just, people are okay with just living their life and forgetting about you. And then the person that they forgot about, they haven't forgot about them, you know? And it's still somewhat <sighs> difficult. And so I still be dealing with that shit. So I just, you know, I'm just learning to kind of talk about it, y'all. Okay, y'all gonna see me just talk a little bit more. A little bit more rawness, okay? You wanna know how my fucking day is going? It's not fucking going good. <laughs> like, I'm happy that my baby is healthy. I heard her or his heartbeat, you know? I'm happy that, you know, baby's healthy, growing good. The doctor told me I wasn't due until the 21st, but we may have to take a baby oh, two weeks before. But listen, they had the due date all wrong, y'all. I'm over here thinking I'm further along than what I am. And so that explains a lot. I haven't been feeling the baby move a lot, but I've been feeling flutters. But it hasn't been 
it hasn't been big moves because you know when I'm thinking 20 weeks you know I should be feeling a lot more movement this is baby number four you know and I haven't been feeling it and the, so this is why because a girl is only 18 weeks and five days 18 weeks and five days Lord Jesus so I changed that the, the information on my app <laughs> so that I can get the right information um, so yes, I have the information on my app now. My due date is for the 21st, but I can deliver between the 14th and the 21st. He does not know, but what he is saying is that if the if the if the um if the paperwork comes back and say and the ultrasound says um my uterus is giving too thin, they're gonna have to take baby. And so I just want to stay healthy. I want to stay at a very um. I want to stay at a very calm place. You know what I'm saying? I want to keep my energy good because um, I have to. I have to make sure I am alive, okay, for all of my grandkids. A bitch is trying to live forever, okay? <laughs> like, I don't want to be taken off this earth until, you know, 180 years from now, all right? 180 years. A bitch will see 180, okay? Mock my word. You you watching this video. I'm going to be watching it 100 years from now. I'm like, I said I was going to be alive. 180 <laughs> but yeah in real honesty though you guys i'm feeling a little better i'm feeling a lot better shout out to my girl queen destiny like queen is amazing um and i say her real name but her queen is her name is queen lanash queen L lanash I, I told her she needs to come up with her own like doula uh you know affordable doula she needs to do something with that as far as like uh, meditating and giving you calm and good energy and coaching, you know, that type of stuff. Because she really did help me, y'all. I was really fucking feeling like I was over it. And I knew that I was, that energy was going to keep going. I was going to go on Instagram and I was going to, I was just going to lay it straight, you know. But the people who, the people who fuck with me, fuck with me. And I just, I have to be myself right now. Like, if you fuck with me, leave your fuck with me down in the comment section, okay? We're going to split, we're going to spell it pluck, okay? Spell it pluck. You pluck with me. Let me know. Because I'm really like, who, 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 who fucks with me? Who fucks with me? Who wants to know how I'm really doing? Okay? Um, because every day I come on here sometimes is not a good day, but I, I make it so that it is a good day for you guys. Uh, but every day is not and I think that's what it's been I've been making it a good day for you guys not understanding that every day that I wake up and I turn the camera on is not a good day so I have to be very mindful of that and I have to take care of myself and this time I'm gonna take care of myself I'm not happy on here always giving you guys the <laughs> you know what I mean like if I'm feeling like shit I'll let y'all know like listen this is what it is because this pregnancy like I said I've been feeling alone so I don't want this video to go too long. I always, 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 always be trying to make sure my videos don't go long. But once again, my spiritual coach told me that if my video goes on for an hour, it goes on for an hour. Who cares? The people who are watching, you know, that's who cares. That's who's going to benefit from it. So if you're a pregnant mom and you're feeling alone, you are not the only one, okay? I feel like I am all by myself. And like I said, I know one thing is pregnancy, but then the other thing is I've been, you know, abandoned so many times to where I have this PTSD. And, you know, I just, I don't know how to respond. And so I just need to disappear. And I feel like that's the best way for me to do. Because if I don't disappear, I'm going to go and I'm going to bark. And I'm going to bark and I'm going to bark and I don't want to fight. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody trying to bark or fight. So it's like, let me just relax. I'm going to take a bubble bath tonight. Um, I swear, I'm going to fucking... It's a lot of things I want to do, okay? But be pregnant. But anyway, I'm going to take a nice bubble bath. Um, I'm going to get late enough the bus today. Oh, really quick. Is my baby so made my it. My baby too. made it on the school website, y'all. He is on the school website. I'm going to post the picture right here. Post the picture right here. He made it. Like, I'm so happy. Like, I didn't even know he was going to be there. I was literally on the phone with Queen and I was logging in so that I can put him on the kiss and ride list. I mean, not kiss and ride list. So I could put him on the bless list because my husband had to go into work um, after I had came back from my appointment. So he had to go into work really quick. And so I put Lathan on the bus 
And as I am logging in, boom, there's my baby. And I'm just like, oh my God. And my baby, the only little black brown boy up there, the little brown boy up there. Yeah, me, not that other cherry. Let's put this cherry on top and let's end your day up with seeing your baby on the school website. So shout out to my baby, Lathan Taylor. He made it to the school website and I'm so happy and proud and he looks very, very, very good. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if I haven't said that already in the video. And don't forget to turn your notification, notification bell on so that you don't miss any videos. Ta-ta!